Hey, everybody. What's up, everybody? I'm uh, I'm a free guy here to ask. You can uh, go chat with me on Instagram. So, shout out to the one. What's up, Rusty? What's up, everybody? Welcome to my Instagram live here. Welcome. Jose Palma. What's up? What's up, man? So, yeah. All right. Here's the thing. I'll... Welcome to the celebration. What are you doing, goat? Really? Goat, huh? It's, uh, Jojo. Ah. Uh. So, yeah, I'm just, um, well, look at some stuff on YouTube here, so... Welcome to the 9-11. Let's see. The question is... What kind of questions that the kid out there? Oh, shit. Let's see, I can, uh... I'll look at your comment section. Let's see who is here. You're a goat. Why are you asking me if I'm a goat? Really? Kid out there, really. Who told you? Oh, Jose requester. Uh. Hey Daniel, what's up? Oh hey Daniel. Yo. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome to my Instagram live, bro. No, yeah, hell oh, yeah, I just saw it on um, your Instagram live though. And the, oh by the way, I posted something on this on my other Instagram account about the I took a I guess yeah, I yeah, I put an image of the twin towers destroyed and said and put never forget with the American flag emoji. Yeah, alright. What's going on guys? Welcome to my uh welcome to my uh my early vlog is going to be happening next week. So, I might do a vlog with this, this guy here, Jose. Jose Apollo, you're live in my Instagram live, bro. <sighs> God, sorry. And yeah, welcome. We're, we're going to be uh, remembering the 9-11, everybody. 9-11. I'll see. The first time I heard about 9-11, I was in school. I think, let's see, I was... Okay, let me think back to 2001. Okay, dang, dang. Okay, I was going to school, though. I was at safe, though. My, my parents were at work. My mom was at work, though, and all of a sudden, she heard on the radio, and then, and like, uh, let's see, what else I remember that day? And all of a sudden, like, I didn't know about it, though. I was, like, with the I was with the other kids and my classmates in school in Southgate. But I, I maybe I did watch the news about it. I mean, not, but I just heard about it. And I, my mom told my boss, my mom, my boss told my mom, oh, my God, oh, my God, I got I to gotta go to my... I gotta go. I wonder if Jose is okay. I mean, I'm like, nah, he's, he's don't worry, he's okay, he's safe, he's at school, he's at safe. Don't worry, don't worry. And my dad was all was on the news about heard the news about it too. Oh man, it's really sad. I you notice Joe Biden's there, man. Joe Biden is showing the respect to 9 11. Also. I know, but I was talking about what happened back, what I was doing back in 2001. Man, I, and, I was uh, four, you're like five, man. We got, so then later on, I was in like, I was in like, I was in my teacher's classroom in, in uh, Southgate room. I think I was, my teacher was named Miss Miller. And I was, um, I was like in school though that day and after school and I went to Latchkey though. It was like a after school program. Let's see, I was sick. Let's see. And then the next thing you know, I was, uh, my, my, I think my dad or my mom picked me up from after school and I decided and went back home and I went back home. The next thing you know, my parents saw the TV and I was, and I was like, they were shocked and devastated. That was back yeah. then. Now, back then, George Bush was like president back then. Yeah, here's the time. It's zero zero uh comma thirty-two at night. What? Zero zero? Wow. I'm on a flight from New York to San Francisco. Yeah, just watching my buddy here, Jose Palma here. <laughs> We got three views here. I got three views. All right, we got uh, and then see. 
A and I mean it's A and I S. Welcome. Yes. G T. Yeah. So, but right now, so I'm just watching a uh, Flight 93 about the you know that's the third. That, I think that's the third plane that almost trying to hit the 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 White House, but instead it supposed to land in San Francisco, but it won't the mandings. It looks like New York. I don't know. Is it? I don't know if it's New York, or San Francisco. It could be a New York. World Trade Center. The uh, uh, the you know the. 9-11, it could be San Francisco. Yeah, it was not, not, they didn't attack San Francisco. The, the plane, the the plane from New Jersey was about to go to San Francisco to land there. But but it was it was the World Trade Center was in New York. I, I seen I seen how it looks like in the home alone too. The World Trade Center is the biggest is the biggest tallest building since during the night during the eighties and nineties until two thousand one it got destroyed. Yeah, I seen that all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, it was in New York that got destroyed, not the one in San Francisco. Now, nah, you know, the only thing I remember though, back in like in 2018 or 2019, that some crazy bomber from the FBI, from that's one terrorist, almost, some crazy terrorist, almost tried to bomb Pier 39. What? Two? We out? What? For real? Yeah, this is happened. This happened like about like. Damn. Yeah, this happened about like years, of, like in 2017 or 2018. I don't know. I don't remember though, but. But I saw it on the news, and I was like, "What?" I was like, "What?" Someone's trying to bump three thirty nine, and I was like, "Oh, but they, but luckily they caught him." Wow, that's really crazy. Yeah, even even last year though, that on Christmas Day, some guy left his RV, and and all of a sudden, boom! The whole block, the whole neighborhood block just exploded in a in a street. Wow, that's really crazy, man. You know, all these stuff are crazy. What, what the fuck is one of these people nowadays, huh? <laughs> I know, right? Let's see. How your how you mean you meant to say how's your Saturday now? You mean both of us? How's our Saturday doing? Well, my Saturday is great. I mean, I went to Costco. I mean, I went to Costco to do a little shopping, and uh, I was getting ate a hot dog, and also also this one late this nice family match about my like my t shirt Bruce Lee. Oh, a nice shirt, man. That's cool. I'm wearing a Hayward High shirt, which I'm not there anymore. Which. Yeah, I don't know why I have this shirt. I think I had this shirt before I left. No, no. I have my uh, but really, I have my Mount Eden High School T-shirt, but it's in, uh, but it's somewhere. But I don't know where it is though. I think it was my PE clothes though, but I kept it. I think or yeah. Away. Well, not too much, uh, Jazz. I've been uploading this video on YouTube here. Oh, it's <laughs> released. <laughs> the Marvin and <laughs> more than the Angry Grandpa show. <laughs> Look at it. This is why I released here. I I put I put it there, and yeah, the audience want to hear that one. So the, I don't know. He was all of... upset, like blah 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 blah, yelling that. Well, wait, it's 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 a reality show, man. It's a reality show. This is why his character name here. Look in my channel. I had to put a character name for him. His nickname is called the Angry Marvin Show. Her name is. So yeah, that's how it's gonna work. I had to put it. I had to instead of calling him former YouTuber, I had to put a the Angry Marvin show. So that's the only thing. And yeah, you know, you remember DF Nick or when he come up in our, uh, you know, my live stream on. Oh on yeah, stream. he was he was talking about Dirty Wee all the time though. And I don't understand what the like. I, I thought he was. He's coming. Like, he's coming. Like, yeah. I mean, I didn't know he was autistic. Uh, right? that's, a, that's like the third. That's like the third people I know who's very autistic. I am your subscriber. Oh, wait, you mean now or? Mm. Oh yeah, you only it's it only says four hundred sixteen subscribers. Yeah, what are you saying about DF Necker? Because he always saying Demon Angel Monster is my favorite wrestler. Of course, he's. He, he doesn't really exist, man. Like DF Necker, bro. He doesn't really exist. I just created him for you know, on, only in a game, man. He, he's not real life. He's not not a real wrestler. He's just a game wrestler. Oh yeah. Oh, your avatar. Yep. Your custom made avatar character. Oh yeah. I really I did one mine before in Nintendo Wii back in the other WWE video games though. But but I haven't play, but uh, I haven't played the new ones though. I only played 2K17, 18, but not 19 or 20 or 21. 21. Uh, 2K20 is like messed up, man. It's like fucked up, man. 
Yeah, but the dude, he's like messed up for real. Right now, I'm playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z because it's uh, anime and I like it. And I'm trying to beat the whole game so I can play Assassin's Creed Valhalla. No, before I have 1,030 subs. Oh, okay. Have you uh, have you uh, check out my new video just uh, three three hours ago, Jazz? Okay. If I say your name correctly. Oh, but, uh, I just found out something. I just found out pretty something else. It, there were three fl- the third flight hit Pentagon, and in nine eleven the pen the third flight hit the Pan- Pentagon, and the fourth one was supposed to hit the White House, but instead it hit the um. Pen- the tower. Huh. The tower. It. it so they hit the tower, right? Yeah, the first two hit the tower. The third one in the Pentagon, and the fourth one, which is from the movie I'm watching right now, Flight 93, landed somewhere and crash landed somewhere in a field. All right. Oh, uh, I see. I see it. Yeah, but it's Flight 93 movie. Oh, okay. Who texted that? You did, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to watch. I had to watch it to see how it do. Oh, because I was in high school, I learned. I saw it in my uh, high school. My teacher, Mr. Dunbar, and we watched a project. He had a projector. We watched it. We watched. We learned about it, and I was all, all like, "Wow, that was that was like so young when I was a kid. I was like five years old when it happened." Before Spider Man. Oh, uh, you're five, man. You're five. I was four in two thousand one. I was four years old. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, I think. I, by the way, I think I saw how the terrorists decide to like make the announcement that they're hijacking the plane they just put on these yeah they just put on these red headbands like street fighter like <laughs> like uh like street fighter and i was like we have a bomb we are and it had like a box cutter knife like the ones the one i have oh i never had most likes here ever before whoever whoever did it thank you i appreciate it top guy what's up top guy for 430 beast boy what's up man welcome to uh my Instagram live. I don't. I don't go. I don't go on Instagram live often. I go on my YouTube videos. I mean YouTube channels, all, all often, and also TikTok. It's in my bio, guys. If you guys want to add me on TikTok, just get, add me. It's it's called I am Daniel nineteen ninety seven. Hello, Mr. Daniel. Yes, sir. You can call me. You can call me Mr. Daniel. I am Mr. Daniel. <laughs> Mr. Daniel. Sorry, I must sleep now. Have a awesome Saturday. Okay. All right, you too, Jazz. Thank you. I mean, yeah, you too, Jazz. Thank you for coming by. And top guy, thank you for calling me Mr. Daniel. Yeah, someone called me Mr. Palmer once in high school. I think it was that one teacher I was taking, like, a Saturday test. I hope, I hope yeah, this will be on my YouTube video, so... I had to upload, uh, yeah, this will be in my YouTube videos. This is like totally fun. But I never, I never had the most likes ever on Instagram because I haven't gone live for a while because I've been busy on my YouTube videos. If you see, if you see this, guys, if you see that, make sure to subscribe to me. Well. Well, I'm I going out for you know, 500. I, I gonna, you know, later on, I was going to watch that video of Marvin Hernandez where he gets, I want to see how he gets totally upset. Bro, besides, he's calling me, hey, hey, respect. That's all, man. Yeah, that's right. Respect. So I'm trying to motivate Jose here. I'm trying to make him, you know, entertain, you know, motivate, motivation. That's right. Respect, all right? Respect. I, all hey, love I, and blood. Hey, I, I respect Daniel, right? Just that. I was watching, yeah, that's right. I was gonna say I was gonna watch that YouTube video that Daniel said about his former about that former YouTube guy, Marvin Hernandez. He's a he's a cool guy, man. I I don't I you know I don't I don't you know bully him. I just give up. I give up, you know, pick on this guy. Nah. But nah, I was joking with him, man. I was just joking with Marvin, man. Come on, man. Like y'all think I bully Marvin? I used to back in back in I was in eleventh grade. In 12th grade, man, I, I stopped doing that to Marvin. I, he knows now. He knows up. He knows down there. I, I, I was joke with Marvin. Come on now. Hmm. I, never, I oh, went to high man, Thank you for the I like, bro. I had my. I went. I was living in Hayward, and I was living in Hayward for like 25 years. I was in Mount Eden High School, and um, I was like 
being my own zip. I was being myself, though, and so I got a little name called, though, but I can't. Hey, I fucked name called and that stuff, so I didn't like it, so I just had to fight back. Oh, you gotta, you like, fight like a man. That's right. Man, I didn't, I never had the most likes ever because people come, come by to my live streaming and then show some love to everybody. You got, you guys are amazing. No hates here. We don't need hates here. In oh, haters? Valley. Yeah, because whoever, like, yeah, because, yeah, because Asians were being threatened by those, you know, by those racist people who just blame it for the coronavirus. No, I think it's just messed. I mean, I mean, I, I, I think it's, it's just messed up that, that, um, that every time that a lot of Asian American people are getting killed, hit, shot in the eye, and that's so they ain't, they ain't fucking right. And look what happened to George Floyd oh, last year. He got killed by an officer who pinned him on his neck, leg. Yeah. What's the question, top guy? You can ask me and Jose a question. So yeah, you can ask me a question. You can ask Jose a question. So what's your question, top guy? So yeah, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be. I can answer. I got. I can answer one question. So I can answer it. Which that is. If you have a question about my YouTube channel, if you have a question about my TikTok, if you have a question about Jose's Instagram, also. Okay. You can ask. Yeah. What kind what of weapon do you use? Using a zombie apocalypse. Oh, that's it. I use guns like the machine gun or a boomstick with a shotgun. <laughs> oh, zombie apocalypse. Oh, is that a game? No, no. It's yeah. It's called what? What, what kind of weapon you use in a zombie apocalypse? Like in real life. You know, like you know how zombie apocalypse. Like first, there's like a virus. Yeah. Like Resident Evil. Yeah, I play Resident Evil. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I remember. I I know Resident Evil. Yeah, I never played Resident Evil though, but I played Days Gone. I've already used like uh, guns and like or like or like the or like that video game I played, The House of the Dead. They use guns and the shotguns and what else? And plus, I also seen. Plus, I gotta have. I also gotta watch, watch uh, Dawn, Day of Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead zombie movies. I use I use a shotgun. I but use a I shotgun with Dave, Dave Bautista zombie. movie called Army of the Dead, and that was like, wow! I was like, it was like two hours ago, though, and they were like shooting zombies too. Yeah, what is this? The uh, Batista brought all these zombies to WWE Thunderdome, man. Depends on if it happens in real life. Oh, right. Yeah, that's good. That's a great question, Jose. Any question about? You can ask me about YouTube. TikTok, you can ask Jose about Instagram. The only thing about- that happened to me, the only thing that happened in real life though was was the coronavirus, and it killed like five hundred thousand million people. And plus, and plus, and plus, I woke up one day. I was in my bedroom sleeping, and next thing I know, I woke up like with a weird sky turned orange, and I was like, "Holy, sh- what is?" This? And I was like, "What the? What the hell is this? What is this? A post-apocalyptic?" And I was like, oh my, it felt like the movie Mad Max or Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, Batman. It seemed, it seemed like you're, or, uh, it seemed like there's a Batman next to you. Oh, that's just my bed. <laughs> oh, your bed? That's yeah. cool. I was talking about Batman vs. Superman. If you haven't seen the movie Batman vs. Superman, there's a scene where they show a flashback where Batman comes out with his little um, hiding place spot and the whole world's like a post apocalyptic and it has a symbol sign that says of of dark side and he's making a deal with these guys trying to get trying to have the kryptonite night bomb to kill Superman during the post apocalypse and then all of a sudden all of his men die and he's all like fighting him, killing all these Superman Trump troops, including the one in Krypton, and then he gets himself captured. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's what that's what I woke that's the only thing that happened to me in real life. Like but it was like during those but it was during the burning fires though last year. And I won't forget that, so yeah. I have a fresh outside here, yo. Oh, oh god, no, oh, there's another question from Top Guy four thirty. He said, Would you go would you go solo or have a Google team but you can't keep helping your teammates out? I'll do it solo, you know. I'll just go solo. Solo? Yeah. Uh, I would pref- I would definitely go have a group of team, I guess, because solo. Well, I can't be go. I can't go wait, solo. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, 
it's all up. But a group of team, I mean, teamwork is a dream work. You gotta like, you can't. I mean, you can. I know you gotta leave men behind or during a apocalypse. Well, you go solo or have a great team, but if you can't keep helping your teammates, uh, you know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll say that I'll say I'll team. I'll um, I'll use my team too. Also, like Jose said. That's a great. That's a great. That's a great second question that Holy we can me and Jose can answer. So that's a great question, uh, top guy. That's a great question. Why? Where are you getting? I, I think maybe you're getting this stuff from Call of Duty or Black Ops. Call of Duty. Yeah, this seem like this seem like uh, top guys asking a lot of like like close by close by. Uh, black, uh, black Ops. I'm going to my room. Give me one second, Bill. Now I'm gonna move here. All right, yo, I'm back, folks. Okay, top guy asked like two questions, especially tap patch. All right, what's the next noise. question, top guy? All right, let's do the next question. Uh, light dogs are talking bird. Well, the first mm. one, though, was especially if you have pets, they'll have make too much noise. Uh, I would think the only thing I hear noise, though, is my neighbor's dog. And, uh, like, uh, I think I like dogs, though, because they're kind of cute. Sin. I got I got um American Spaniel, you know. I don't have, uh, any, you know. I don't have any pets, all right? All I have is my cousin, Ed's dog. Oh, shit. So. He used to live here in Hayward, though, but he moved. He moved away to Nevada. <laughs> that's my Rick and Morty. That's my Rick and Morty impression. Uh, yeah, every time, like every hey guys, every time I go live stream with uh, Jose, he kills it when he's burping. Like you know, it's just you know, it's just funny. I'm bur I'm, bur I'm, I'm I'm like Rick. I'm bur I'm burping like Rick Sanchez. All right, just keep on entertaining. I I'm very surprised somebody gave me a lot of likes on Instagram. A zombie dog? Oh hell! Ah oh, ah! Oh. Wait, wait, what? Imagine running. Let me read it. Imagine, imagine running into a zombie dog. LOL. I wish I was in the scene. Oh, and that's then, the oh oh you know in the game Days Dog. I, there was some like yeah there were some like uh, wolves wolves that scared the shit. I mean, I seen a zombie dog before in the movie Army of the Dead, or was it in um, in Blade Trinity? Hmm, I think so. Or maybe, or maybe the or my video game, maybe maybe my video game Days Gone, where there's like dogs chasing you and you're like, "What am I?" And I was like, "All of them trying to get you." Like, oh, are you sure? Like, oh, I was like, yeah, yeah, this oh. guy, yeah, he saw about this one. Everybody, he saw about this one. Yeah, that game. Yeah, he, he's. I, I I beat this game. I beat this game like uh two times. I mean, first time ever. I beat this game, and then Marvin has have this game or right? yeah, this I beat, game. I only beat the game one time, and that's it. Just the one time only, and that's it. It was pretty good, uh, I have to be honest. But um, but now it's uh, now they're releasing a Spider Man two and also a Wolverine game. Wolverine. Oh, how about this one here, gentlemen? How about this one? Look at this one here. Wolf, uh, what? Emerge us. Well, I never seen that game before. Mark. Uh, how about Cyberpunk? Have you played Cyberpunk? No, I haven't played Cyberpunk, cool, but uh, I know Keanu Reeves. I know Keanu Reeves is in it, though. But I don't have it. I'm, my, my next game out to play is uh Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I'm a fan of the game of Assassin's Creed. 
Zombie Apocalypse. Oh, right. That's I might I might I might watch that one. Zombie Apocalypse. Whatever that talk guy asked. He said, "Imagine seeing Zombie Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, and Thomas Jefferson." Huh. This is this reminds me about history about Abraham Abraham Lincoln. John F. Kennedy. Well, he's. I know my mom was. My mom helped. Um, John F. Kennedy helped my mom's country to have food. Food. And Thomas Jefferson, uh, what, what what was the? I forgot who he was. He was from the 1800s. So I'm not sure if we we can trust Abraham Lincoln. Like Joe Biden said that Abraham Lincoln's a racist. Yes. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said in the debate last year. Joe Biden said that in front. Of, I thought he ended no. slave. I thought he ended slavery. Though. So. Yeah, we thought so, and um. What's that? What you, somebody needs to end the KKK. You remember that KKK? Oh yeah, the KKK is not good. I mean, I mean, those guys are bad news. They hate minority people. Yeah, they hate all the race men. That's like really messed yeah, up. I mean, yeah, take a look what happened to the state, the U.S. Capitol. Bad day, bad. That, I, that was the first time I ever watched my in my life, and uh, and when I watched, I, yeah, and I was I was watching the recount vote, and all of a sudden the K. They all just attacked the cash cab. I was like, "Holy shit!" I know, cause you know, you know, we start with a DT. DT who started this uh, invasion, the under siege, like January six. Yeah. Oh god. What's, What's wrong? Your back hurt? Nah, and it's on my back. It's my little hip. I don't know what, why is my right, my right rib cage is hurting. Oh come on, I, I didn't get hit. I just. Uh, I don't know, maybe have some, like, air or something. Maybe that might be, like, a little muscle cramp or something. Ugh, come on, I'm in the best shape of my life, right? Uh, oh, God, I'm burping. Damn, man. Oh, come on, hey, come on, you see, every see, hey, you see Rick and Morty burp, all right? You see how Rick's... All right, like, kill it, man. Just kill it, man. It's just going to be, like, motivating my viewers and likes. This is, hey, I this, seen is on Rick, hey, this is how Rick Sanchez always burps. Oh, I seen on YouTube that a black guy become friends with a uh, KKK member. Wow! What the hell are those things like? Jose is like. <laughs> well, every time, every time I look at his eyes, like I'll, I'll say, "Holy shit!" I was gonna, I was gonna have my eyeballs pop out like Chef Boy Bones. That guy, that one guy who's famous on YouTube and. Who was on American uh, God's Talent? And he's like a rapper, and all of a sudden he just eyes pops out, and he goes, and his eyes pops out, and he goes like, like that. Oh yeah, like, I guess he was lucky. Oh yeah, I guess I don't like KKK, man. Like, screw the KKK. I've been watching Trevor Noah's uh, videos. I mean, his YouTube saying he he doesn't like the KKK. Well, I have something to show you. Oh man, you're frozen. It's like, yeah, it's like you're like. Oh, I have. Well, actually, I was gonna send you a video of this guy known as Chef Boy Bones, though. Yeah, if I can find the link on YouTube, I'll, I'll watch. I'll check it out, that guy. I'll see it and then I'll watch. I'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah, make sure, oh yeah, send me in the link. Send me in the link on uh, my on the message on IG. But I don't use Facebook. So But speaking about Facebook, shout out to Luis Figueroy, man. You know, he's been telling me about this uh copyright on Facebook. I fucking hate Facebook, man. I quit it that that you know, that website a long time ago. Like I think twenty twenty I ended at Facebook. Oh, last year? Oh yeah. I have Facebook, but I don't use it. I hate Oh, man, I hate it. Every time, every time they just block it, or they just, you know, they just, you know, do unfriending, unfriending people on Facebook. I just still like it. Yeah, but you know, I keep saying on Instagram though, though, like people are trying to like use the fake profiles on the people on the on the original people, person's name. You heard about that? Yeah, I heard. Uh, I heard about that too, man. Yeah, this one guy I know named Jordan. I think he's like uh, I don't know what he is though. But I think I went to high school. And I think he's like Chinese, Asian American too. And he's like a business guy, I guess. With and his and guess what they, I think they're trying to do. It was a spam that 
some spams are trying to like hack their trying to like copy their their accounts and try, and all of a sudden they have to report it and yeah. No, oh, kill it, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh god. And he yeah, I guess he might say it's hot. It's hot as fuck. And it's it's not hot it's not hot in here. I just I'm just burp no, because, I'm just burp because I had a hot dog today. A uh, hot dog from Costco. All right, let's see. Yeah, Hello, yeah, yeah. Jennifer. No, one guy in Hayward High School. I think um I think he's uh Jason's Jeff Jason uh Jefferson's cousin um Brian Kendrick. John. John Kendrick. I know that guy. He's a funny guy, man. He's a funny guy. Yeah, John. Yeah, John Kendrick. That's his name. But he has like Tourette's, I guess. So. Hello, Jennifer. Say hello to Jose in the uh, in the video chat. My guest right here. My guest on my Instagram live. Jennifer. Yeah. Say hello to Jose here. Make sure to follow Jose Opama. And like I said, like I said, Jose is gonna be my newest member on my YouTube. Either he does his YouTube. He's my newest member. The replacement of Marvin Hernandez. Yeah. I'm not like Marvin. I'm not like Marvin though, who do watches like WWE all the time though. I just I, I do like WWE though, but but uh, but also I, I gotta watch other sports. I was like every time I watch, I feel like Frankenstein doing like research. Oh, uh, Frankenstein! I, I I have I read about Frankenstein on the book too, long time in elementary school. Oh really? I I read about I read a short one in middle school. I was uh, I watched the uh, uh, the classic nineteen thirty one, but the only one that's scary though. I also watched the movie in nineteen the nineteen ninety four one with Kenneth Brogna and Robert De Niro. But I kind of like I mean I used to like I the only thing I got scared though was um was the creature comes out of this little machine tube and it just and it popped out and. Then, He's about Frankenstein was gonna open it and then poof, it, it opened and then all of a sudden the creatures came out like, whoa, 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 whoa. but it was kind of different. It almost got it from the book, but but when I, but when I but I read a comic book of it too. In the com in the book, he got Frankenstein is scared of the creature of the monster, but and he runs away. But in the yeah, but you read that inside, everybody. Don't read about Doctor Seuss because Joe Biden banned that one. Joe Biden just banned Doctor Seuss books. It, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, I used to read the. I used to read the Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, and other Doctor Seuss books. But not, but never the. But I didn't know if it was racist though. I mean, but uh, come on, he he even he even took out. I mean, I remember last year though they even took out um, um, Gone with the Wind. Yeah, top guy. Uh, you can send me. You can send me that. You can send me that message on YouTube on my message. They're on my Instagram, but it it won't work. It won't work in my live stream. No, or or your phone. Or it can only work on phones, like text messages. I sent it in your uh, inbox. Cool. Okay. That's cool. I see. I see your comments on my uh, my post, my new post, Jose, oh. about the nine eleven. Yeah. Oh, you did. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. Because I don't know. Because I just want to do an honor of nine eleven. Because I was, I was five. I was, I was in, I was in South Cake in school when nine eleven happened. Oh yeah, top guy. I I upload. I mean, I posted a uh, photo on my Instagram page. Right, I just went. I just you went to check Google that out. Nine eleven. Found a picture of the flag and the twin towers getting destroyed, and put add to my photos. Posted it on Instagram. And that was it. So. Oh yeah, you know I don't even care about the boxing fight, man. Like these two uh, that start start with the DT, Donny Boy, <laughs> and his son. Oh, Donny yeah. Boy. Well, the one thing about Donnie Boy, you're never gonna see him. You're never gonna see him. Do, you're never gonna see him do this. <laughs> like he's commentary on boxing, man. Like what is this? He said he wants to fight Joe Biden on the boxing fight. Donald Trump wants to fight Joe Biden on the boxing fight in the ring. Yeah. What is this? What is this, Donald Trump? What is this? Is this WWE? Oh my God! I call you. Hey, you know the only thing you're not gonna see Donald Trump is doing his little dance. The one he does this. Come on, man! You you say you want to? Ch are you really? Are you really serious? Wasting Joe Biden's time to fight you at a boxing fight? What is this? Is this like a I think, Logan Paul and Mayweather? From my opinion, I think that it's only. I, I think my opinion, though, I think he's that. I, I think he's very psychotic, or just a joke. Maybe he's doing a joke a bit, or I don't know. Let's say. Really? Are you serious, Trump? Really? You just saying I want to fight? I want to fight? I, I I'm down to fight Joe Biden on in the ring. Really? Wait, did what you is that, it, that, a competition?
Yeah, what are you saying? Uh, I was going to check that up on Donald Trump's uh, Google if he want to fight Joe Biden or not. I seen it on TikTok and it was in a it was in a uh, boxing uh you know face to face with this other guy. The guy the other guy is going to fight the other one. They're going to be fighting like this Saturday. I think at yeah, this Saturday. I think today is the fight. And this is the most embarrassing part ever. Donald Trump will get paid for being a commentary. Really? A commentary? Can you believe it? Can you believe this guy is just going to go uh, be a commentary in a boxing fight? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look. The plane from the movie. Yeah. Oh, man. This will be a remember. Donald Trump's message on 9-11. America will be great again. What? Look at this one. Look at this one here. Look at this one. Donald Trump message on 9-11. What the? It says America will be great again? What the fuck? I know, man. People are saying, what the fuck? I don't know what's I know what I, I I thought I thought he's gonna be in commentary with a fight a boxing fight. Well, that's I think that's tonight. It is. Who, who, who's he betting to go on a fight to fight with? Joe Biden wants to fight. I think Joe Biden wants. To, I said Joe Biden said I want to I want to fight Joe Biden like in the boxing fight. Really, old man versus old man. Man, I was like one or two years. Oh, when that happened, yeah, I know. Let me see. Let me uh, let me see if this guy is. Wait, he went to a uh, UFC. He went to he pro he probably say I'm going to be a commentary in a boxing fight. You know, when 9 11 happened, I was. Uh, oh, by the way, talk guy said, man, I was like one or two years old when it happened. What? When that happened, I was like five when I was five when it happened. That's why I performed a comic. Boxing, oh, yeah, I know, right? Let me uh, let me search for a Wait, boxing. You were four, one. and I was five, and I don't know how old I didn't ask how old was Luis when it happened. Luis, he could be, maybe he could be the same age as you. Five. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Then his birthday's like in April, and mine was or well, I, actually his birthday was in June, and mine's in May. Oh, mine's is in June, so Luis's Luis's birthday's on June, also, man. You know. Yeah, I'm, I, I my birthday's on May second, which is like, I, oh yeah, this one, oh yeah, and also, also this one girl named Giselle, she has the same birthday like I do, May second. She's May second. I'm May second. Uh this is the the fight that in his Donald Trump and his son are gonna be attending. This fight. What is that? I think today. Wait, who? Wait, who? Today? Paul, today? Holly Field versus Belfort. Yeah, today is the boxing fight, so. They don't believe it's real. I'll see. What what I believe, do I believe if Donald Trump's going to fight uh, Joe Biden? What the heck? Let's, Let's give credit where, where, where it's due. Obama did took Osama bin Laden out of his misery, though. Obama, Barack Obama was a, be a better president, man. You know. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he didn't care about politics or anything else, too. And plus, I was like in El I was in Palmacia when he became president. And then uh, Barack Obama just uh, had a vice president named Vice President Joe Biden. I, yeah, yeah. I like him. I like both of them when they were president, man. Yeah, like, I was, man, I, I was man. twelve years old when he when he became president, and uh, that was the year. That was the year I did my, and also in the middle of my school year, I was like. And then, like, and then, like, in 2009, during my sixth grade year, I was like, I did a talent show. I did Michael Jackson and uh, Matt Eden. No, not, Ma not Matt Eden though. In Palmasia Elementary School. Oh, you did. Oh, it's a assembly, right? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We had a school assembly, and I signed. I was in. I go to my music teacher's class, and I signed up to do Michael Jackson. I did Billie Jean. I had like a hat oh, on, love that soundtrack, song. and. I just started doing. I just started following. Remember the dance when I watched on my computer all the time back in elementary. How was the wig? 
How about the wig? You do have the wig too, also? No, I just went. Nah, I didn't. Nah, I didn't have a wig. I just, I just, I just have my, I just have my natural hair. Oh, yeah, that's nice, man. How about the jacket? How about the jacket and the gloves? Uh, I had a white glove, but I had a hat though. And no, no, don't, no, don't, don't show the wig. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you don't want to. Sh- you already know I'm gonna get. How you know that? How you not gonna get the wig? Because I saw. Because I saw it once before. <laughs> no, I'm gonna show it to the uh, fans, man. Yeah, you knew. You knew I'm gonna get it. <laughs> You're gonna give me a. Yeah, you knew. You're gonna make me a, give me a freaking heart attack like nostalgic. You're like. <gasps> <laughs> oh man. He's gonna be killing it, man. Like he's gonna be like, holy shit! Like everybody's gonna be like, holy shit! I didn't have no wig. I just went. I just have my little front hair like curly, like this. That's all. From the album Bad. I'm just talking to my friend um, Daniel. That's all. Yeah, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's why that's why the show in there, like everybody thinks I Oh yeah, you know what? Michael Jackson always wears shades here, people. Yeah, it's one. If I scare the people out, you know. Yeah. That's right. Like he's giving a high five, man. He's giving I, didn't, like, okay, a high first of all, I didn't wear a wig, I had like a black leather jacket. And I, it was my custom made one, and that was it. What the? Yeah, this is not. Hey guys, you y'all think this is real? Not it's fake hair, man. It's a fake hair. Yeah, I know it's a wig. Yeah, just like uh, like actors though, when they go to do a movie, they gotta wear like a wig, or cut a hair, or get a haircut, or hang on herself too, and that like Bob Ross or what the heck? Even though guy, I know one, it was, and some guy says, "Do y'all watch WWE?" Even though I know it was fake though. Yeah, it's fake. I know it's fake. Brock Lesnar came back to duty, man. I don't know what the hell happened. Why Brock came back? Really? If, uh, you know, you know that reminds. You know, I keep. I know a lot of people told me that was fake, though. But um, yeah, but uh, but I think, but uh, I think the last, you know, the last person who said that wrestling fake, though, he got punched in the face. This is from Dwayne Rock Johnson. He was in school, and this is from nice. Show, this is from a show, um, Young Rock, where. Some kid thought like wrestling's fake, and you won't have him like boom. We punched the guy in the face. Hey, yeah, look at what top guy said here. Nice wig, Mister Daniel. Yeah, I know, right? I didn't say about acting. I just said I saw a TV show on, about Young Rock, about Dwayne Johnson's younger days, because he grew up in a family full of wrestlers. Let's see. I want to be a actor too. Cool. I guess you got. I guess you got to go if you want to be an actor. You got to you know study that in uh, high college. Yeah, co- yeah, like take drama and all that stuff too. And look at my cousin. Look at my cousin Marcos. He did. He um he did. He was on broad. He did acting too. He he was he did stage acting. Yeah, and also Macaulay from Home Alone too. He did some acting too. Yeah, I mean that movie. That movie launches. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin. That movie launches career. Is I'll allow you a fight with them. I need I'm in. And yeah, there's a boxing fight. I know he's gonna be in the commentary. I know Donald Trump is gonna be in the commentary. Wow, not impressed. Allah. Let's see, let me read this one. Um I mean I mean how to watch Donald Trump call Hollyfield versus But hey, I better be I better be for it for it to be fake than real. What what's he talking about? Wrestling? I guess so. Yeah, I guess he's talking about WWE. AEW? AEW is doing better, man. AEW is doing better. Yeah. This is the reason why Daniel Bryan left. Adam Cole left. CM Punk left. The most people they love. The most. You see, like Luis Figueroa said, AEW is better than WWE. No offense, Marvin. Besides, Chavo Guerrero, Chavo is here. Chavo Guerrero is here. Look at this. Oh, wait. They're okay. Your sisters are with 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know. I mean, I mean, I seen wrestling. I mean, the first time I saw wrestling was at um, was at a carnival, and um, was at a carnival. It was like two guys dressed up like Spider Man and Venom, and it was at a it was in San Mateo. I was a kid when I watched it, and I was like, wow, entertain, entertain. Even the even it, but it was like the Mexican wrestling though. And then the sec and like the next time I saw it though was WWE. I saw it like. Twice in a live event, and one in San Francisco, one in Oakland. The third time I watched it was in Oakland again. Yeah, people are going to say, uh, Vince McMahon is going to say, why, Adam Cole, why, Daniel Bryan, you have to leave the duty company? Maybe it's because, uh, maybe it's because uh, Roman Reigns ended Daniel Bryan in WWE, and now Daniel yeah, Bryan's a new... Yeah, but look at WWE happening right now. I mean, they're, like, losing, like, lots of superstars who are getting fired, released after... After their match, after like every pay, some of the pay views, and even come on, they lost Lana. Who else they lost? Um, uh, what else? Neil, um, Cameron too. She quit, I guess. The Bell Twins. Well, they retired though. They wanted to have kids. Uh, now who else? Who else? Who and also a lot of wrestlers have died too. Even so, except for John Cena though and Dwayne Johnson, they're doing movies like right now. Yeah, I saw Cena and uh, you know. Dark, a dark match. All right, let's see. They bring Brock Lesnar in too fast. I know, right? I know they brought Brock Lesnar because what? Why is Brock Lesnar back on duty? I don't, I don't get it. Maybe because he wanted to get unfinished business with. Oh uh, wait, oh wait. What happened um, to Bray Wyatt? Did he left early too? He's been released too. Also, they he got screwed by uh, you know WWE. Yep. Yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, Chris, look at Chris Jericho. He quit WWE. He got fired. Yeah, it's kind of shocking. Now Now he's signed to AEW, so. Yeah, but they're doing way better, though. And uh, what else? And plus, the other thing I do miss is Lucha Underground. And plus, and plus that's, I won't forget that uh, Ricochet's um, brother, brother Nars, was hella bleeding him from his back. And he got covered in blood. Like, oh, my God, he's hella bleeding. It was on Netflix when I watched it. The first two seasons, yeah. the first two season and season three, I watched it on Tenchi's, and season four was like I thought that was, and I was, I was gonna see a season five though, but it got canceled. I want to see Lucha Underground season five, but it got canceled. Yeah, top guy, you said br they bring back Brock Lesnar too fast. All right, we already know what what Brock Lesnar is there it's for to accomplish to uh, defeating conquer. Somebody I know he conquered Roman Reigns so many times, but he didn't defeat one person, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, nah, he was nah, he didn't nah because I don't know if they have a gonna meet. I don't know, Bobby Lashley is on Raw, Roman Reigns is on SmackDown. They're gonna lose Braun Strowman next. Well, he's gone already, he's been he left WWE too. Also, Braun Strowman has left the WWE company. There he lose. There he lost Braun Strowman. Yeah, they he quit. And plus, not to mention the guy also that one of the uh, Eric Hart. They even uh Luke uh Luke Harper he passed away though last year. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it's not a COVID thing. He didn't die in COVID, so something else. Cancer. Something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, and damn, I feel pretty sad. Yeah, rest in peace to Br uh, Brody Lee. Yeah, what else? And plus, well, I mean, the only thing who died this year, no, for me, was Sonny Chiba, the martial arts actor. He's Japanese, yeah, by the way. I saw, I have his movie, The Street Fighter, and he was, oh, he's a guy from uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. You know, the Japanese guy with the hat. And yeah. Inside, that, that's Sonny Chiba right there. Don't forget about Daphne, everybody. Daphne died also this year. Oh yeah, Daphne. Oh yeah, she died too. Yeah, it's the most shockiest part ever of all time. She will be a legend of wrestling. Roman versus Bobby at Survivor Series. Yeah, that's we already see. We seen them uh, over and over again. We seen Bobby Lashley, you know, defeat uh, Roman Reigns Extreme Rules. So no one is want to see that Roman. The people want to see Bobby Lashley. Want to see him fight Brock Lesnar. That's the plan they wanted to see. Since they uh, they didn't put Brock Lesnar on SmackDown, they still put him on Raw. 
they should have, you know, take him out on Raw and he put him in SmackDown. Oh, great. Oh, great. I got another burp coming out. I feel like Rick, I feel like, every, hey, I got a question for you, Daniel. Yeah, what's the question? Do you watch uh, a boy a boy and a, a grandson and a scientist, grandfather's like a scientist, and they go and miss, and they go to I'm, like a uh, universe and have a portal gun? I never watched it, but you're kind of cutting. It's called uh, Rick and Morty. Oh, I never watch. I might check that out. You can send me, uh, you know, that link on the my inbox. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's, kinda, it's uh, he looks a lot he like. You're frozen. Back to the future. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny, and there's a scene though. He always and he and he always burps, and he gets drunk all the time. He has like drills. All right, guys, he's frozen. Like, everybody, comment down below if Jose Obama's frozen, because we can't hear him. He was like cutting. He's like cutting. Uh, he oh, he has like drizzle coming out of his mouth and he's burping. He looks a lot like. Okay, I can't right? hear him. Like, oh, I think, I think it might be the Wi-Fi connection. So comment down, comment down below if you hear Jose Palma in the comment section. I'm trying to say is that um, that. Oh, uh, you're frozen, man! You're frozen, uh, bro. Looks... What the hell? What am I? I didn't know. I didn't talk. I didn't know you're um, like a wrestling fan. That's good. I didn't know you like a WWE fan. You can just uh, re refresh your uh, Wi-Fi. <clears throat> uh, guys, he's just frozen. Everybody, he's just frozen. I don't know what's going on, but he just uh, froze. Okay. Speaking. Okay, Nick, you see me now. Speaking of funny, I got a crazy question. I heard him, too. So, what's the crazy question here? Uh, hey, I was saying I can't hear you, man. Oh, what? Oh. I think he's kind of frozen, right? He's frozen. Jose Palm is like frozen. Oh, can you see me? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna end my. I'm gonna end my uh, Instagram. Me and Jose are gonna be talking in private, in Syria. So me and Jose Palm, what's up? So this this video will be on my blog definitely, but maybe next Saturday or the next Saturday. So, you know what? Maybe next Saturday. I'm going to be releasing this video next Saturday. All right. So, I had, I had to talk with this guy here. I'll see a Palma. Bird boy. What? So, I'll talk to you guys later. And I'll have I'll tell Z private. Wait, what? What did you, what'd you say? Bird in the inbox. Never mind.